The US and UK have unleashed a series of joint fresh airstrikes against Houthi targets in Yemen. The strikes targeted an underground storage site, missiles and other military capabilities. In a joint statement, they said their aim remains to de-escalate tensions and restore stability in the Red Sea. Rishi Sunak went one step further, calling it self-defence. We urge the Houthis and those who enable them to stop these illegal and unacceptable attacks. Yeah. <laughs> but if necessary, the United Kingdom will not hesitate to respond again in self-defence. So is it self-defence? And are the strikes doing anything but de-escalating the situation in the Middle East or escalating them? Joining me now to discuss this is the son of the IDF general, Matty Pellet, who is now a Palestinian activist, uh, Miko Pellet, and Yemeni journalist, Luai Ahmed. Well, welcome to both of you. Um, let me start with you, uh, Miko. Uh, to me, it seems pretty straightforward. You've got a, a bunch of Houthis who are firing rockets to try and stop, I think it's nearly 15% of the world's trade, maybe more, coming through the Red Sea. And they have to be stopped, don't they? Well, I, uh, thanks for having me on the show, uh, Pierce. I, I would frame it slightly differently. I think what we're seeing is, uh, is Yemeni forces acting responsibly in response to a genocide taking place in Palestine. Uh, and we've seen over the last uh, month or so, or excuse me, three months or so, We've seen a heightening of the genocide with the tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians being massacred. Well, what does that have Israel to do with the Houthis Street? in Yemen, with all respect? And, well, well, the international community has to act. If the international community does not act to stop Israel, nothing will. And countries around the world need to act. And I think what the Yemeni uh, forces are doing are, the, are one of the only uh, responsible actions that we've seen. The other one, of course, has been the South Africans with a petition to the ICJ. The international community cannot continue to ignore what is happening in Palestine, a 75-year-old ge uh, genocide and, and apartheid regime. And when one country decides to step up and do the responsible thing and respond, they're being bombed by the Americans and what the British. Is responsible who are about, now, who what is responsible are about supporting... firing, firing rockets at you know, cargo ships coming through the Red Sea? What is responsible what is, about that? Well, what is responsible is... First of all, they, they, well, the, the, the blockade of the Bab al-Mandab is an act of resistance. It's an act, to, uh, it's an act in response to the lack of action, the severe criminal lack of action by the rest of the I world. I think that's what Iran... In, I think that's, listen... the genocide taking place in I Palestine. would say... I want to come to my that other guest. That is the issue. All right, let me come to Luai Ahmed. You can't, I mean, to you, me, can't, to... you can't take it out of context, Pierce. Well, you actually, can't take it out of you context. shouldn't bring you it into... You can't ignore the Palestinian issue. I think it's being deliberately you conflated. Have to. It's being deliberately conflated as a context no. because Iran wants people to think no. that way. No. Let me let me bring in Luai Ahmed. No, it's let me bring in Luai Ahmed, please, the other guest. Uh, Luai, your view of what you just heard. Yeah, I think it's actually quite insulting to say that what the Houthis are doing are acting responsibly. The Houthis took over Yemen, north, northern Yemen, by force. They slaughtered people. They killed people. It is a terrorist group that acts with violence and does not care about the Yemenis. Ever since the Houthis took over northern Yemen, more than 21 million Yemenis are in need of humanitarian aid. More than 10 million Yemeni children are starving. So if, they, if the Houthis were to act responsibly, they would take care of their own people. They would take care of their own starving population. Yemen is the biggest humanitarian crisis in the Middle East, and it's been perpetrated also by a war with Saudi Arabia that happened because they took over the northern part of Yemen. So the Houthis should mind their own business and care about their own people who live in famine. The Yemenis do not need another war. And one of the reasons that many people in the West are supporting Houthis and supporting their actions is because they, they're just looking for any hero to bomb Israel. I mean, even if, if Hitler was alive today and he started bombing Israel, they would all call him a hero because they, can, they blindly hate Israel and they cannot see the nuances. They, and most of them don't even know the slightest bit of the Houthis because the Houthis are not a country like he says. They're a militia. They're a sect that took over the northern part of Yemen. They're mm. not the legitimate power in Yemen, but they took over the country by force. So they don't really have any legitimacy as, a, as an internationally recognized government. 
And they're also backed by Iran, which is trying to impose its power on the rest of the Middle East. And I mean, I, don't, I need not tell you about what Iran has been doing in the Middle East for the past 20, 30 years. They've also assassinated all of their secular leaders. Yeah. Next month, they're assassinating Fatima al auri who is an, a human rights advocate who has been criticizing them. So it's kind of insulting to say that they're acting responsibly just because they're attacking I Israel. Can't th I, 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 th to be honest, I've heard both sides now. I just think the idea is responsible is for the birds. It's utterly irresponsible. It's warmongering. It's de de deliberately inflammatory. It's at Iran's behest. And they're getting the bloody nose they deserve from the US and UK. who are trying to preserve nearly 15% of the world's trade from going down in the Red Sea. Uh, I can't think of anything more responsible than the response that's coming their way. Anyway, thank you both very much indeed. I appreciate it.